declutter this stuff. Okay, this is how my brain works. This is the level of dangerous razor blades just randomly sitting in here. I have broken things in here. How many of these does one really need? I like this a lot better. Well now, isn't that interesting? Uh, why wouldn't I have thought of this before? I don't know what I was thinking. Hi there, Charlani here. On my channel, we talk all things life and style from home decor and DIYs to cleaning motivation. So if you haven't subscribed yet, pause me here, hit that button, and let's get into today's drawer organization. Hi guys. Today, let's play a little bit with things in the kitchen. So if you were here during Vlogmas, I actually shared the contents of what is in this box right here. I have lots of different organizational type things for our kitchen drawers. I need to go in and redo these drawers right here. They are kind of a disaster. So we've got some goodies in here that we can play with. I also bought this at Target. It is kind of like the generic brand of the Ninja a uh, dual basket air fryer. So I want to unpack this. Here's the thing. I love air fryers. I gave our small, well, smaller air fryer to our daughter Kaylee when she moved out a couple years ago. I then talked Rob into getting this super big, the Emerald Lagasse's like all in one situation. And I don't like it. <laughs> Don't tell him, I don't want to tell him that. But I personally, it takes too long. It's just big and bulky. This is definitely big and bulky too. You can see that it actually, circumference wise, I think it is about the same. Um, if not a little bit less. And that's what I am looking for because if this is as good as I am hoping it's going to be, we're gonna use it all the time. So I want it on our countertop. We are very blessed in this house to have a ton of countertop space. So I kind of want to move things around, de-junk a little bit, but I'll show you. Like I wanna go through this and I wanna make it prettier. We also need to simplify this. This also is why, like you can't even open the drawer all the way. This needs to be fixed. This also <laughs> needs to be fixed. I'm just showing you all the things. So this one obviously isn't that bad, but this needs help, this needs help. And then this is our silverware drawer, which again, not that bad, but it could be better. Here's what I was thinking. This one for this drawer here, and this one for that drawer there, and then obviously the utensils will be here. If you're wondering what is in this drawer, this one looks like this, and it's actually, this is just fine. I have this divider here, which I'm kind of thinking would be good to get a couple more of those, maybe to put one here, and possibly even instead of using this here, um, use a divider. But let's just kind of go for, like let's start here, see what we're working with, and then we will decide how we're going to use this last one. And also, if, um, we'll just see if maybe we want to get another one of these or something similar with some bigger compartments for this side. So we'll just have to play around with it. Let's go ahead and open this guy here so I know how big it really is because really this box is kind of huge. Right off the bat, I can tell it is not as big as the uh, Emerald Lagasse one, 
which I love. That makes me so happy. Now, is it the prettiest thing that I want on my countertops? Probably not, but I think it's going to be practical. And look at, aha, this is a really good size tray. So, yay. Now, I am thinking that I might just switch it out with the Keurig because we don't actually drink coffee. Rob and I don't drink coffee anymore, at least not that often. I would rather have something that I'm gonna use all the time on the countertops rather than have something that we use only every once in a while, maybe once a week, if that. Decisions will need to be made, but I'm excited about it. So let's just go ahead and start messing around with the drawers and see how far we get. What I have are these two boxes right here for things that I, I'm thinking donate, don't need anymore, unsure, and these are the things that I am for sure going to keep. So I need to go through and de-junk all of these drawers. Some of these things probably don't even need to be in a drawer. I have not done this in probably three or four years. This also, I would like to declutter this a little bit. I want to simplify, and I say, I've said this a thousand times, I think, I need to simplify this area so there isn't that much on here, but the truth is I always revert back to more. I just, I love it, it just makes me happy. I'm also not loving this. We might paint those, like a heat resistant spray paint, just so that they're not so like, wow. I totally went down a rabbit hole and a rabbit hole of what kind of projects do I want to do in the next couple of months. If you've been on my Instagram stories, you already probably know this. We are going to restain this buffet right here. It is just too messy and cluttered and I want to simplify. But this orangey red color, I just, it is the one piece that I love, but I dislike the color so much that I kind of feel like I just throw it back here and then try and hide it because it's so orange. If I can't, so my goal is to kind of sand it down. Just, there isn't a lot of finish on it. So I will sand it down just a little bit. And this video now has become a what to look forward to. <laughs> so bear with me, this is how my brain works. So we're going to stain this a little bit darker, not as dark as how we refinish this table, but it will be a little bit darker and I'm hoping to be able to take some of that orange out of it. Even if it were a little more red, I'd be happy with that. Kind of like red, like what that is right there. I also dove into the world of curtains and I have not tackled putting curtains up here because I've been so unsure of exactly what I want. But I'll toss in a picture of kind of like an inspo pic of what I'm thinking would look really good there. And actually it was a bedroom inspo pic that I got that idea from. I will pop those pictures in here for you if I already haven't. But those are pictures that I'm kind of like, I'm thinking this is the way we want to go. The bedroom inspo pic would work so perfectly in the layout of our current bedroom with where the windows are, all of that. So projects to think about for sure. The other thing Rob and I have talked about is staining these cabinets darker. It is not 100% for sure that we're gonna do it, but I've been going through inspo picks again, like 24 hours, 36 hours of just being in Pinterest. <laughs> it's been the best days ever, but we're thinking of doing that. I'm also thinking that if we do that, we will do this fireplace also just a little bit darker and paint white, paint white because I love dark furniture against white and then put all the moody home decor, mm, love. So what I'm thinking too is this is our bathroom and it's the same kind of color of um, cabinetry, 
We might start in here, maybe like start with the tub area. We might start here and see what it looks like, do a little bit of tester. Um, so yeah, new project. So that I went off on a total tangent of, of future upcoming projects. The other thing I, <laughs> so the other thing that total rabbit hole, cushions on our sofa. And I'm thinking I might just make my own throw pillows not cushions, pillows. I might make my own throw pillows because I went on to Etsy and I'm like, we're in the wrong business here. We need to be making some throw pillow covers <laughs> because they were hundreds of dollars for like a set of five. And I know if you were to go to Pottery Barn or West Elm, like places like that, the pillow covers are a hundred bucks each. That is not me. That I, I'm like, that's no. So I would rather try, give our hand at making them. So soon to come, because I don't know how to sew. I have a sewing machine, yes. I don't even know how to thread it. <laughs> the last time I used it had to have been 20 years ago. My mom was with me and she was the one who threaded it. So I don't know how to do any of that. We'll figure it out though. Maybe that'll it'll be a video where we figure it out together. But then I'll have a lot more control over the size of pillowcase I want, the look of it, all those things. So that's what's coming up. Okay, <laughs> back to this project here. And see, I keep squirreling because I get so excited about the new things that we're gonna do. Also, got Rob on board well this was his idea not I got him on board it was something that he's been wanting to do but we are going to situate the fish tank new backdrop maybe different colored rocks put extra sand maybe put in some live plants we're gonna make it super pretty and I'm hoping less of the green that it is like it's still gonna be green with plants but the backdrop I'm hoping to be able to find or make something that looks really cool because I feel as though we're like we're in the living room and then boom we have this fluorescent greeny kind of fish tank it does not vibe with my home decor so we're gonna fix that eventually okay you gotta stop talking to me I need to do this <laughs> that angle was awful because I really, nothing is going. This is the problem I have with purging sometimes. I'm like, you know, you just never know when you're going to need a garlic press. I mean, you might need a whole bunch of these kinds of, you know, spreaders. <laughs> like, oh, it's so hard for me to purge sometimes, but... This is the level of dangerous this drawer was. I have these super pokey things right here. We've literally got razor blades just randomly sitting in here. I have broken things in here. We've got binder clips. I don't know. We've got tattered string. I don't know. I just don't know. But what's great is that I have found my Lodge cast iron scrapers which I could not find because it was shoved way in the back over there and I needed it for my cast iron. So there we go. It's actually not as much stuff really as I thought there was going to be. And I'm very happy with what we do have here. I'm gonna now just clean out this drawer. I almost forgot to declutter this stuff because some of this stuff will stay up here, but some of it I want to put into the drawers. So I'm gonna just bring that stuff over here, sort it, and then we'll get back to that. How many of these does one really need? Honestly, how many? Don't put 
put wooden tongs in the dishwasher because they end up doing this. I will keep them because they're actually really good for uh, mixing up salad. <laughs> so we'll keep them. Still kind of a lot, but I like this a lot better and I know now what's in here and these are things I use often. Well now, isn't that interesting? This drawer is smaller than this one. I have never noticed that before. But yeah, <laughs> it is. I've never noticed that before. We've been here going on, I think, 11 or 12 years and I have never noticed. Okay, and I will put like putty to hold these um, in place once I know how where we want them. We're gonna start putting everything in here, but here's the thing. This is probably gonna change over the next few weeks so that we can kind of get a feel for what we grabbed for, what makes the most sense, because I'm actually thinking that I'm not even gonna put the measuring cups and teaspoons in these drawers. I'm gonna put it at the end, but that might not be a wise choice because I might find that I am going for those things a lot more and will want to move them into this drawer right here, but I'm not gonna do that yet. That'll be something we move down the road. So I think for now, just all of the larger utensils, we're gonna put into these drawers right here. It's also so much easier to be like, let's just get started and then we can tweak as we go. And I really need the drawer dividers in here so I have enough room for my bigger cups. So we're gonna hold off, well, we can sort this stuff at least. We'll mess with this a little bit more when we get the drawer dividers, but I've got my tablespoons, teaspoons. These are the only two sizes I just about ever use. If a recipe calls for half a tablespoon or half a teaspoon, I wing it, I eyeball it. But these, I will keep just a handful of the other sizes just in case I need them. But this is good. And then I'm gonna keep these measuring cup sets right there. And these ones, we just don't need anymore. And the way that I determined was if it was easy to read or not, and these are not, <laughs> so. We're gonna, we're gonna donate. Here I am over here, just trying to make our life a little bit happier, a little bit more organized, and Rob sends me this. <laughs> I'd kill myself if I was your husband, really, as I'm down here organizing the drawers. <laughs> kind of awesome, but also, kind of watching this TikTok going, oh, that's a good idea, that's a good idea, that's amazing, we should do that. The toilet paper in like the toilet paper roll to make it look all nice and pretty. Yes, please. The Keurig cup in the drawer. <sighs> Done. So I just had a thought. I have had these for two years probably. And by the time I realized they didn't fit in the drawers, I couldn't return them. <laughs> so I just had a thought and duh, why wouldn't I have thought of this before? But instead of having them go vertical, I'll make them go horizontal across and then we can divide it back that way. <sighs> My goodness. Wait, these ones are long enough. Wait, what was the problem with this? I don't remember now. I am so confused because, look it, <laughs> they do fit.
vertically. What was I thinking? Have I literally been sitting on these for this long? Wow. <laughs> Why do I feel like such a dum-dum right now? We have our little guys right here. I like to use putty. Well, museum putty is the best in my opinion. I just get it off Amazon and I'll cut off a piece. But as I went in, I actually don't need it anywhere because I've pushed the drawers either forward or back and I've got stuff here. It's kind of holding these in place. So we're actually fine. The only one I could use would be this one right here, but that's so minimal that I'm like, why? It's really not a big deal. Those have the drawers uh, in here. I don't think I showed you this one, but this one is nice and clean and organized. I did put the, I took them down from here and I put the trivets in here. So we've got that. This one here. Oh, this just makes me happy. I just showed you this one, but it's worth a look again. This one here. This did not take that much time at all. A couple of hours really, and I am in love. And even this, I don't need the putty because we've got these down here. And if you're wondering, look at this knife. How beautiful is that? Almazin Kitchen, YouTube, awesome knife. And this one, same thing. We didn't need the putty because it's pushed all the way back up and these are holding it there, so yay! This right here is my edit. It's mostly the cups and the measuring spoons. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna message Kaylee and be like, do you need measuring cups? <laughs> <laughs> but for the most part, I think this is probably just a giveaway box. Thanks so much for joining me in today's video. I hope you find it as satisfying as I did because these drawers were a mess and now they are nice and organized and put together and we can actually open them and not have to worry about sticking ourselves with something sharp, slicing our fingers with razors. Goodness, <laughs> they were a mess. And we don't really have, I didn't edit that much out because for the most part, I kind of edit as I go along, but those were out of control. And winning that I had all of those drawer dividers, I don't know what I was thinking. I am, I am, I am unsure why I thought those were too short. I don't know but we made it work. So that means that when Amazon delivers the dividers that I got, I just made like 30 bucks. So that's how I feel about it. Cause I can return those other dividers that aren't even here yet. So we got to finish the project too. Bonus there as well. All right guys, like I said earlier, we've got some projects coming up. I'm so excited to tackle lots of new things in this new year, get to some of the areas that I didn't get to this last year. And what's fun is that I'm just working my way through the house. I'm going area by area, room by room, section by section, moment by moment, if you will, and zhuzhing things up, tweaking things up, changing things around and making them beautiful. And my style is ever evolving. It is always changing. And I think we're gonna have a lot of DIYs coming up soon, so stay tuned. If you are new here, welcome. Again, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're not subscribed, I would love it if you did, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.